hi guys you're welcome once again now today we are going to look at dotnet framework now dotnet framework is what is used in visual studio dotnet and it's part of what is um being used for visual basic visual c and other languages within the visual studio family now dotnet framework let's look at definition there are two dotnet implementations actually one is dotnet core and the other one is dotnet framework and here we are really going to look at dotnet framework that's our main focus now dotnet framework is an open source microsoft framework that offers tools for web and mobile app development so what the dotnet framework does is that it has libraries where you can use to build applications and also it's possible for you to use several languages and develop an application and then that application is going to be compiled in one application those different languages will be compiled into one application and those different languages irrespective of the language that was used to build dotnet framework makes it possible that they are compiled as if it's just one and they make the application to function all right so dotnet is an intermediate byte code that requires a runtime interpreter to implement now let's look at the implementation of um, dotnet now each implementation of dotnet consists of components the components are common language runtime now common language runtime is a platform that allows libraries and programming languages to work together allows libraries and programming languages to work together so you have your libraries and each language comes in and then pulls from the library and you build your application and then it compiles it and makes it possible for it to run seamlessly now they also have the framework class library now the framework class library FCL is a library of codes that are usable some code you could be use it more than once and therefore instead of keep on typing and typing it now these codes over time have been perfected and there's no need you trying to reinvent the wheel when these codes have been shown to be most effective they are shorter and maybe well structured so it's better for you to use those codes so you have reusable codes there and then you have the common language specifications CLS and then there are additional framework and development tools which also come with the dotnet framework now let's go ahead and look at the advantages of using the dotnet framework one of the advantages of using dotnet framework is that you have shared code libraries shared code libraries because we have several codes you have code that do certain functions you could call a library to um, connect to your database you call a library that will create forms, that will create input boxes and all that so you just have them available and you pull them in and they do the work for you and depending on the language you use it gives you the code in that language if it's in C or the language is in um, Visual Basic then you don't have to write codes from scratch so you don't write codes from scratch because you already have libraries built in then you have code access security that is what one of the advantages of net then you have inbuilt user interface controls now it's possible for you to pick a form to pick a button to pick a checkbox to pick an input box a combo box or a drop down menu and use without having to code them from scratch as you may do in other um, languages you just pull them and it's there then it has a great caching mechanism great caching system so that makes it to run faster than older ones it has easy deployment on maintenance to the advantages why .NET framework is considered one of the good development framework and one of the basic reason why it's considered as one of the top development framework is because it solves complexity of software development now the complexity of software development is that while we write codes in several languages we have the issue of an individual writing with one language and another one writing with another language 
and how do we make it possible to convert from one language let all those languages be used together to run on one application in one application on one interface an example let's say i want to build something like um, a banking application and you use a c language and i'm going to use maybe um another language like visual basic how are we going to make sure that we bring in the tools and then we can build from different directions with different languages and ensure that at the end of the day it compiles and it runs for one application that we are building for and that's where dotnet framework is good for so you may argue with me if you have any other issue on that then go ahead and drop a comment so that we can discuss it and also please don't forget to like subscribe and click on the bell icon so that one youtube can share this video to more people and secondly you can see more videos when they come out on the series of .NET framework and its family of languages now what's the objectives of .NET framework the objectives of uh, the objectives of .NET frameworks are easy development that's the aim that was the main reason why it was developed it was built for easy development then you also have reliability the core of programming it has to be reliable high performance now the advantage of high performance is we don't want to write a program that will take so long to load or it will be complex to install or to set up we just want to build an application and once you build the application you can go ahead install it and you start de you deploy it and you have no issues it performs very fast and very well now let's look at the .NET framework architecture the .NET framework architecture includes common language runtime I had explained common language runtime earlier you also have the framework class library where we have classes are there and you have um, the short code snippets of code all over everywhere and you also have the web modules or languages now there are several languages that are being used here and these languages are being used to create two um, different types of applications now the module the different kind of application that we have are one we have winforms we have asp.net and we have adu.net and each of these architecture is used to develop something unique within the framework now let's look at them the uses of those components now WinForms is used for designing form based apps that run on windows desktops so we have microsoft word could be developed in windows forms microsoft excel now these are windows based apps they run on windows desktops so those um, wind forms are used for that. And ASP.NET is used for designing modern web-based apps. So we have lots of web-based apps right now on different sites and they use ASP.NET for that. Then if you want to connect to the database, use IDO.NET. It's used for web apps that provide consistent access to the database. So once you need consistent access to the database, we use ADO.NET. So, right. so these are the components that are available in .NET Framework. Thank you. Please ensure that you subscribe to this channel. Click on the like button and then go on to click on the icon to bell so that any video that comes out you will be aware of it.